What up, Epic? I hope that you're doing well. If you don't know my name, I'm Will, and I'm the pastor over at Epic Center City. What's going on, Center City fam? Anyway, welcome to day one of our time of prayer and fasting. I'm excited to get started and excited for what God's going to do in our lives. So let's get into this thing today. Our first reading went over a survey and the results talking about the top five struggles Christians face when it comes to spiritual growth. Things like not feeling good enough to even approach God or being really inconsistent with carving out time to spend with God. I thought that this list was very interesting and also very relevant, but there was one section that I really wanted to hit on and here's what it said. Now what am I to do, what am I to do when the deepest things I don't want to do end up becoming my reality. But the quick things, the easy things, the accessible things, those are the things I end up doing and choosing. It makes you feel stuck. Now that's powerful. I don't know about you, but I think we can all we can relate to what was being spoken about in some way, shape, or form. We want to exercise more, but we always come up with some great excuse as to why we can't. Some of us want to read more books, but Netflix is always calling. And many of us, we want to grow in our relationship with Jesus and spend more time with Him, but something always seems to become more important and take priority over that. This time of prayer and this time of fasting is an amazing opportunity for us to cut back on some of the things that are quick, easy, and accessible, and to replace those things with what's most important and what's deeper and more meaningful, and that's Jesus. This time of fasting will look different for each and every one of us. But as we get into this thing and as we get it going, make sure that you take time to identify and clarify your goals over the next couple days. God wants to do great things in your life and I want him to do great things in my life. So let's go after this together. Let's pray. God, we wanna obey you, we wanna follow you, we wanna become more like you. And I pray that as we use this tool called fasting to make you a priority in our lives, that you would help us to become more like you and grow in desire for you as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.